Here's my newest version of the electric chute rotator. What I did is I took the shaft out of the the shaft the crank connects to, I took it right out and then I had to modify the shaft for the uh, seat motor it was too large to fit inside of the uh, wire rotator thing and then uh, once I did that it was too short as well so I had to weld some rod on and then of course to uh, attach and detach everything you've got this cotter pin that quite often nobody has taken off in eons and it's hard to get out the first time but you're our even when you've got the regular pin in there, the only way you can hook the handle on it is if you pull it out and then you thread it through, thread it through the handle, and then when you line up the two gaps, that's how you get it to hook. Otherwise, you can't get it to hook to the crank handle anyway so I don't understand how people use all these snow casters without ever taking that pin out because that cotter pin should come out this cotter pin here should come out every time you add or remove the handle the crank handle so I did that and then there's a little bit of a picture I put an anti-rotation bracket in and it screwed bolted on uh, so I can't do anything on the housing itself because the housing is where the auger is and even a carriage bolt would stand too proud. So there it is. This is the wiring. Got it hooked up to a temporary battery, fused in line. And this is just a double pull, double throw switch. Momentary, they call it. A momentary double pull, double throw. Speed is perfect of the rotation. So, there you have it. My latest and greatest shoot rotator. The, and wrapped in Gorilla Tape. To hopefully keep the water out longer uh, it's not a weatherproof motor so there you go that's it thanks bye